I'm just, I don't know how much of that that actually caught, but okay. <laughs> I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Lynn. Okay, so, um, last time there was not exactly typical sibling, right? I'm not sure what happened last time. I'm still trying to ponder it, but anyway, we met the other Lynn. Okay. Her th and this person, I don't even remember her name, but apparently we're friends? Question mark. <laughs> anyway, her thighs are slender, milky, and white, and she wears her school skirts a little too short. I forgot to do something. Hold on. Uh, air does not help my case. Ugh. I'm back. Sort of. Maybe I'm front. I don't know. <laughs> A little too short so, so she can show them off. Even in the winter. Wow. I'm kind of jealous. Susie's cute enough as it is. Even her name is cute. Oh, that's right, Susie. Thank you. <laughs> Though her full name is Susanna. Okay. She's a little stuffy. I wouldn't say so. She doesn't need to make herself cuter. <laughs> Being her friend is kind of bad for my self-esteem. She's had way more boyfriends than I have. It's not fair. Come on. Not that it's hard to have more boyfriends than me. I haven't had any. Wow. Wow, that's... Wow. That's not much of a competition, is it? Like I could ever compete with Susie. He bought me a maid uniform! A real maid uniform! Okay. Oh, really? That's cool, I guess. Ah, oh, come on, Lynn. I try to sound enthusiastic. It's hard work. Yeah, especially if you're stressed to 20% out of 100. I've had to listen to Susie talk. talk t t t talking to me. Talking at me, more like. About her dreamy Japanese boyfriend for the last month and a half. Wow. Also, I wouldn't call it an accomplishment if... Susie's had multiple boyfriends. That's not a good thing. To me, I mean, I've only had two girlfriends. And that's just because they've been more involved, I suppose? I, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't call it a, an accomplishment if you're bouncing from boyfriend to boyfriend just cause. Aki. She met him, o she met him online. Of course she did. <sighs> when she was doing a live stream. What kind of live stream? He contacted her and said he could compose music and he knew a little bit about idol culture. And if she was really serious about being a performer then he could be her manager. Oh, okay. So it's like a business thing. It's actually kind of cool. Now he's dating her. Yeah, no, really? Never would have guessed that from the term boyfriend. Well, dating in the loosest possible way, since he lives in Japan and we live in Richmond. Yeah, that's actually very far from each other. It is cool, right? I'm going to wear it on one of my live streams. Neat. Yeah. I picked the outfit out myself. It's kind of expensive, but I mean, Aki has money, so... <laughs> wow! Is that what we're basing it off of? Girl, if, in, if you're in it for the money, then you got problems. Hold on. Light. Ah! Bright! <laughs> Susie smiles and shrugs. Her shoulders coyly. Okay. Having a rich boyfriend must be nice. Yeah, but it's not good. It must be nice having any boyfriend full stop. Okay, that I... I don't know, because I'd be the boyfriend, and I don't... I'm not gay, so... 
I wouldn't know. Though, I guess Aki's more of a man than a boy. And he lives so far away, he and Susie have no hopes of ever kissing and cuddling. I mean, Susie could move. Or he could move. It's really... It, it would cost a lot of money, but I mean, as you said, Aki has a lot of money, so it really ain't that hard. Well, all the boys in our year group are stupid. The boys in our form are especially brain dead. <laughs> wow. So you're aiming for the smart ones, huh? Okay. Yeah. Them smart ones nowadays are very hard to find. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on your own aspect, really. Anyway. Bradley Hurd tried to give himself a tattoo with his... What the f... I don't think this guy knows how tattoos work. <laughs> with a blue biro pen in math. Wow. Maybe, maybe I should just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should make myself a bracelet with this ruler here. I literally random, randomly just picked something up that was sitting around in my room, so I'm like, why not? Here, there you go. That's just about as smart as what this guy did, so there's my new bracelet. Just get some tape, wrap it around my arm, and there you go. Widely known ruler bracelet. <laughs> okay, let's go. No. <laughs> Alright. Don't smoke, kids. It's really bad for you, actually. He managed to give himself a makeshift tattoo. A lopsided wonky one. But he also gave himself blood poisoning. Yeah. This is why you let the professionals do it. Craig Bentley's always making lecherous comments and trying to peer up girls' skirts. Wow. That's pathetic. When they walk up the stairs. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Yeah, I can tell. And I don't blame you. At least I don't. I mean, yeah, some people are really stupid, so I, I don't blame you for the second guy, but the first guy? Really? You're that picky, huh? Okay, fine. You won't like me, then. <laughs> In fact, I hate them. Wow. Uh-oh. Shoot, I want to make sure I didn't skip anything. Okay, good. Girls my age are meant to be interested in relationships, I think. That, I think. Wait, what? Oh, oh I see what's going on here. Uh, girls my age are meant to be interested in relationships, I think. That's what all the teen books and movies say. I'm not, though. You're not interested in a relationship? No wonder you don't have any boyfriends. Jeez. And you're jealous, and yet you're not interested. You're contradicting your own brain, girl. Come on. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Yeah. That's what Jazz says. She had a lot of boyfriends when she was my age, too. But I don't think she ever really liked them. Yeah, it kind of sounds like she was doing it more for this. The, uh, toying around rather than just the actual relationship. Based off that statement, at least. I'm gonna raise this a little bit. Damn it. I'm dropping everything today! What the hell? Okay, that's a bit better. Alright, sometimes I've tried to imagine it. But letting a boy like Bradley or Craig touch me with their dirty, smudgy fingers makes me feel sick. I mean, I can imagine that. Who was the second guy again? Beck! Okay, I'm finding out. Bup, bup. Craig. Okay, Craig was the one who... Okay. I can understand, I can understand Craig, but Bradley? I don't get Bradley. Why Bradley? What's so bad about him? He's not the smartest, but that doesn't exactly mean he's... <sighs> Whatever. You do you. That's all I gotta say about it, I guess. Let's see. 
If I had a boyfriend, I think I'd rather have a boyfriend like Aki. Okay. We getting kind of picky now, aren't we? <laughs> uh, who lives so far away, I'd never... Oh my god. For some reason, I haven't been able to work for a very long time. I don't know why. Shut up! <laughs> okay. If I had a boyfriend, I think I'd rather have a boyfriend like Aki. Who lives so far away, I'd never have to worry about him peering up my skirt or trying to grope me. Yeah, I hate that there are a lot of guys nowadays who do actually do that, and it's kind of saddening. Not like anybody would want to. Aki's so generous. Susie is still stuck in La La Land. She's mooning over her boyfriend like he's the second coming of Christ. I've never heard that used before. I can ask him to buy me anything, you know. Literally anything. He just jumps at the chance. Like it's some huge honor. Don't you think that... Uh, kind of makes me think that she's trying to use him. With that statement, at least. Asian guys are always so eager to please. I wouldn't know. I'm not Asian. <laughs> I think it sounds weird. Does it? Oh, Lynn. Susie tuts. She looks sympathetic. You'll understand when you start dating. Stupid boys like Bradley and Craig are rude and mean and make gross comments. But real men know how to treat their girlfriends right. Yeah. I still don't get Bradley. I mean, Bradley's dumb based off what I read, but I don't get how... Why is stupid such a bad thing? If stupid was a bad thing, YouTube would be shit. <laughs> Why is that? Because they know they're lucky to have us. I mean, look at it this way. I'm a cute young girl. I'm in the prime of my youth. He, meanwhile, is in his 30s. Whoa. Girl. You, you're, you're for the older people, girl. Well, he says he's in his 20s, but I don't believe it. I've seen the photos. He's old, and he's not really super attractive. I think he's cute, but there are way better guys out there. Why should I be interested in him? It really should be more about the personality, honestly, but at least that's what I think. Because you like each other. I guess, but that's not it. It isn't? Of course not. Don't be daft. It's about giving to- Oh god, of course you're for the money. Of course you're for the money! He wants a cute young girlfriend, and I want somebody who will spoil me by and buy me nice things. Everybody wins. You remind me of my ex, and it's pissing me off. Shut up. But what do you parents- But what do your parents think about Aki? What they don't know doesn't have- here we go. What they don't know doesn't have to hurt them. I thought the phrase was, what they don't know won't hurt them. Aren't they suspicious about all the packages he keeps sending you? You worry too much, Lynn. Oh, God. Thanks. Thanks for that. Susie looks at me pityingly. She always looks at me like that. Like I'm slow in the head. I am! Well, I am. I'm not sure if Lynn is. So, what if she... She's had a couple of boyfriends. It doesn't make her more mature than I am. Actually, you're right. The way she's going about it, it makes you more mature. But, judging by the way she talks, you'd think she was far older. You should live a little. That's why you've never had a boyfriend yourself. Wow, we're going down that road now, huh? I don't think I want one. Why? You will. Give it time. Th that just makes me... Oh, God. Seriously? Why? Like it's a foregone conclusion. Susie starts peering at her fingernails. She turns them this way and that, examining... I'm just gonna look at my fingies now. Don't mind me. 
she turns them this way and that, examining them beneath the light of the classroom. Hold on, nope, you know what? That's not proper. She's looking at her fingernails. In the meantime, I'm, I'm gonna look at my ruler bracelet here. Must keep balance to the force. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <laughs> her, her fingernails are perfect, just like the rest of her. They're manicured, painted with nude gloss. She never ever bites them. Wow. She, she's practically perfect in every way. What is she, Mary Poppins? Who has the time to worry about their appearance that much? Okay. I don't know. Her? Susie, I guess. Yeah. Susie's been doing live streams from her bedroom for a couple of years now in her attempts to become a Japanese idol. Seriously? That's her ultimate goal? Oh my god. Fine. An English angel with white skin and blue eyes. It seems to be working out for her. I think she's actually pretty popular. Not that I watch her streams. It'd be kind of... Fuck, the first word on this whole thing I actually don't know. Hey, bracelet, can you tell me? What? Can't hear you. Ow, you stop flicking my nose, damn it. Uh, it'd be kind of voyeuristic, I think is how you say that. Voyeuristic. Let me double check. Voyeuristic. Yep. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I've heard the word, I just never actually read it. <laughs> It'd be kind of voyeuristic, I think. And anyway, who wants to watch their best friend since kindergarten wearing cat ears or a kimono? I don't know! I guess she has a new costume in her repertoire now, courtesy of her boyfriend slash manager. Good for Susie. Okay, this is starting to hurt. Ow. Let's try the other arm. The God, God. There. Ruler bracelet is now on the other arm. Good for Susie. At least she's happy. Hey. That kind of support makes you a good friend, so I don't know why. Uh, well, I guess. I don't know. She looks happy anyway. And isn't that basically the same thing? No. No. I would know, so no. <laughs> People act happy all the time, and they're really not. Dad and Jazz are arguing again. Oh, God, what is it this time? I don't think it's Jazz's fault. She probably didn't want to argue, least of all with Dad. Jazz used, Jazz used to bully me a lot when we were little. We already went over this. But I don't think she's a nasty person. Not really. Oh. Okay, that part we didn't go over. Even if she is, she certainly wouldn't try to pick a fight with our dad. Alright, I'm putting I'm putting the ruler bracelet down for now. It's now a ruler bone for me. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. I learned it's all like this now. That's a lot bigger than a horse horse, as it's sorry too. This tastes like shit. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> and he's scary, scary too. He'd be scary even if he didn't have such a quick temper. Dad's shoulders are broad and his hands are very large. They're scarred from years of manual labor. Oh, jeez. What was he going through? He works in construction. He has done ever since I can remember. Hmm. It's kind of good Dad works in construction. How's that? Usually he's too tired and dusty to do anything other than sigh and grunt and lie on the sofa watching the TV when he comes home from work. But that's just most of the time. Not all the time. Sometimes he comes home in really foul moods. 
his hands cracked and muddy, the palms bleeding, and then he starts shouting. So these aren't arguments that legitimately start with anybody but him. Kind of like a drunk bastard, I guess. And I mean, I mean somebody who's usually cruel and gets drunk. I've come across people like that before, and I don't like them. <laughs> Because if it, for some reason, the mental state that I get into when I get into arguments, it's not something I can handle. So I try to avoid that kind of stuff, which is why I try to avoid people who are usually angry and decide they want to get drunk. He never starts shouting right away, though. He's always quiet at first, like a volcano before it erupts. Oh, that makes it even scarier. Dad isn't a bad person. He doesn't mean to lose his temper. I don't think he wants to shout at Mom or insult Jazz or make me cry. He does it because he's stuck in an exhausting job he doesn't like. But he never went to college, so he can't get anything better. According to Dad, the job market's in the shitter. The shitter? Don't you mean the shutter? Yeah, that's probably what they meant to put, because the I and the U, they're as everyone knows in a lot of places they're legitimately right next to each other on a lot of keyboards too which is a little weird but eh. according to dad the job market's in the shutter right now his words not my oh okay so he probably did mean to say shitter then stupid drunk daddy and there's no way he can even hope of getting anything halfway decent. I beg to differ on that one. I can think of a few things. That's why he keeps telling me I should study. I have to do well. I have to succeed. That's hypocritical. That is fucking hypocritical. I have to make him proud. I think what he really means is don't end up like me. That would make more sense. A lot of parents are that way, which, I don't know, for me, it just seems very hypocritical and sad. That's why he gets so angry at Jazz when she, he got so angry. How did I read get out of that? He got so angry at Jazz when she broke the news about her pregnancy. In what way does that make her end up like him? Maybe he thought it was some kind of failure on his part? Or maybe he thought he'd done everything he could for us and Jazz was throwing his efforts back in his face. I mean, I guess I can see that, yeah. He's argued with Jazz on almost daily basis since then. Wow. Jazz isn't meek like me, and she doesn't get scared easily, so she always argues back. What a tough bitch. Dad started to have a go at Jazz as soon as he got home today. And then she tried to defend herself. And things got worse from there. Great! Great. That's just what we need. Mom asked Dad to stop by. St Mom, Mom asked Dad to stop, but he just shoved her away. Wow. That's abusive. Stay out of this, Marigold. It has nothing to do with you. Mom tried to say it did have something to do with her. Because Jazz is her daughter, and then Dad gave her this look, and Mom herself, Mom hid herself away in the kitchen. Dad and Jazz are still arguing even now. I can hear them downstairs, their voices echoing through the house. So you just sat at home and did nothing again? You're wasting your life. Well, what do you expect me to do? I'm six months pregnant. I don't want to risk hurting the baby. The baby, the baby. It's always the fucking baby. You should have thought about that before you gave yourself to the first man that asked. I already told you. It was a party. I was drunk. Oh. It was one of those. And that makes it all better, does it? I wasn't saying that. I just... I don't want to hear it. I didn't raise my only daughter to be a... S what? What? Excuse you? What about me? What about Lynn? Is she not your daughter? 
I didn't want- I don't want to hear it. I didn't raise my only daughter to be a slut. What the fuck? I wish the walls in this house weren't so thin. I can hear them yelling even though I'm in the upstairs ba bathroom. I think the neighbors can hear too. We've had noise complaints more than once. The arguing got so bad at one point, Jazz moved out to live with one of her friends for three weeks. Mom cried and thought she'd never come back, but she did. Dad cried too. He hugged Jazz and called her his baby girl and said he was sorry. He was so, so sorry. He said he'd never shout at her like that again. He was wrong. Obviously. I stare at the ceiling. The beige paint is peeling and m mold is s sprouting. I don't... I'm very staggery. Why? In the corners. The water, now lukewarm, pools around my body. Okay. The tap is faulty and it drips over and over again into the already overfull bathtub. It's not loud enough. Not loud enough to drown out the noise. There's always so much noise. I sink back in the tub, submerging myself completely. I want to hide from it all. Everything. Okay. Stress levels are going up a lot today. There are rolls of fat on my tummy, and my legs need shaving. They're nicked here and there with small scars from my last attempt. Are you sure it's a good idea? I have PE tomorrow. It's my least favorite class. Lesson. Well, class or lesson. Both work. I can't stand it. I don't like getting changed in front of my classmates. I always worry, compared to everyone else, that my body looks all wrong. Close my eyes. The water flows about my head. It warms, it worm, oh my god. It worms its way inside my ears. It's harder to hear Dad and Jazz like this. The sound is distorted, like it's happening on an alien planet millions of light years away. Well, you wouldn't be able to hear them at all if that was the case. I think I'd prefer that. I'd like to live in space if it meant I could be alone. Wow. No Dad? No Mom? No Jazz. No Susie. No Lynn, either. What is wrong? What, what, what did the world do to you? I wonder what Lynn's house is like. That's a really random thing to wonder. I bet it isn't like this. Oh, is it the bathroom again? And next we have number 86, Miss Harper, will you please step onto the stage? Um, is this even the same? What? What the hell just happened? I want to obey the disembodied voice, but I can't. Oh, for f So much stress! My legs are trembling like a baby deer's. My heart is pounding. Well, I shut. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but there's a vehicle outside and it won't shut up. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Um, pick up. I know I read this. I might end up reading it again, knowing my past. I don't know. If I remember what I'm doing, then I won't. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it. Push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!